In this video, I'll be showing you how to connect the Maono Custer Lite to a singing application which is called the Star Maker. Using the Star Maker application, I'll be showing you how to record a song using only one device and that records both the video and the audio. Without further ado, let's get started. And now, let me show you the uh, connections. Now the first cord I connected is this one, so the one that says mic 2. This one is connected to this condenser microphone over here. The next one that says headset is connected to this headset so I can monitor the audio. And the next one that says music input. So let me show you the both ends of that looks like this. This cord comes when you purchase this monocaster light. So again, I'll be connecting this one under music input. And the other one is connected to this device. Uh, so that's the device we will be using to open the uh, Star Maker application for us to record a song later. And because this type of, uh, of iPhone does not have the audio or headphone jack, so that's why I will be using this uh, lightning audio adapter. So I'll put it like that there, I'll put it there and connect it to there. Okay, there it is. And uh, lastly, I am going to connect this one to this portable speaker so you can hear as well while I'm doing the testing. And uh, so it's up to you if you want to connect this to a bigger speaker, so you might need a different type of, of cord. But for this one, let me just show you quickly. So the cord looks like that. So that the one that has two lines on it. So it's still 3.5 mm, but two lines on it. So again, I'm connecting it, connecting it under output and to this uh, portable speaker. So you might use maybe a 3.5 mm to RCA, the one that has red and uh, red and uh, white or other type. Uh, it depends whatever type of speaker you might use. Okay, we're now set. Let me now turn on this uh, monocaster light. Okay, there it is. And let's uh, turn on also this speaker. And I have already opened the uh, Star Maker application on this uh, device, and that's the song we will be using for recording. By the way, I'm only using the speaker so you can hear it as well, but in my opinion, for recording purposes, I don't really suggest you use a speaker, not unless uh, someone else wants to hear it while you're doing your recording. But again, it's uh, up to you. And you can always play around with it, which one is better for a recording. Is it is it with the speaker or without? So you can for sure feel free to uh, give it a try. And now before you start your recording, so just make sure the record volume knob here is, is up. And just a heads up, the volume for your minus one, so the music that comes from this gadget, you can control that from here, and you can also control from this device, so something like that, to turn the volume up or down. Sometimes there is also a volume, if, if the speaker is capable of doing it, there is also a volume, like for example, this type of portable speaker, this one can, can you can turn the volume up or down as well. So it's up to you however loud your music uh, you wanted it to be. You can always play around with that. And uh, now for the microphone, of course, the volume is right there and how much reverb you want it to use. You can control it from here. And uh, now let's uh, start this one. So of course you have to, if you selected already the song, click the sing. And let's just say okay from this one headphone recommended so it says I know and to turn on your camera is just up there in this corner okay so there I am and uh, again uh, if the music is not uh, is not allowed then we can control it from here let's uh, give it a try okay let's turn this up now sound check sound check testing one two sound check sound so if the music is not loud enough, you can turn the volume up from here.
Okay, let's stop it from there. Okay, let's uh, click the check mark. Okay, so it says uh, recording incomplete. We'll just say yes because this is just a sample. Okay, there it is. And so it is the oh, let's uh, pause it. So again, if it's too loud, you can turn the volume down from here. And uh, so the good thing of using a star maker is that you can still adjust the between your vocals and the instrument or minus one. So you just go to the one that says effect from here. And if you click volume, so it's right here. If you want your voice more louder, so you can just, you can move it up some more. And if you want the music to be lower, then you can do it like that. Scroll down or up. Okay, let's uh, try to play the recorded song. Okay, let's just move it to, to the middle. Okay, so as you notice, it sounds like the vocal is now to, as loud. So what I would do is I will, so I'll go to volume, the one that I showed you. Uh, so I will turn the music a little more down and maybe more up on the vocals. So let's uh, give it a try again. So anyway, so that's uh, how to do it. And there is also some more e effects from here, like a custom effects. Uh, so just go to the one that says customize. And if you want to add more reverb, for sure you can add more reverb and and you can, like, it's up to you how much reverb you wanted your song to have. Okay, and uh, let's just go back. And also you can select one of this uh, type of vocals or audio. So if you want warm, it changes the audio. As uh, Whenever you change uh, this, uh, like, options on here, warm, uh, or dreamlike or any any one of this one here changes the the output of your audio so it's up to you to play around but again uh, I just showed you that's a pretty much uh, how you uh, you record a song from uh, this uh, one device uh, with the video and audio on it so let's play it again so right there. And now, after you record the song, if you do not want to post it, it would go to your draft. So, uh, something like that. And uh, now to save it, so you can post it, let's say you want to post it in YouTube or Facebook or save it to your phone. So it looks like once it's in your draft, uh, you cannot uh, save it, not unless you want to screen record it. So that's pretty much how to, to, uh, to save it to your phone. So if you do not want to uh, screen record it, let's just exit from there. So if you do not want to screen record that, so your option is to post it. So to post it on here, and then once it's posted, so I have a one song here, let's say, okay, so this one. So I posted this one video. So for you to save this one to your phone, so let's open it first, so something like that. And you should see this arrow uh, from here. So if you tap that one, uh, there should be this options and now you can post it to wherever you want like Facebook, YouTube or if you want to save it to your phone and then you can decide which which uh, platform you wanted to post it so you just uh, tap the more on here oh, okay more and then simply save to file and now you can decide where you wanted to save that song okay so something like that Okay, let's just pause this one. There it is. And that's all I can share for today. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And if you like this type of video, please like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're always updated for all the upcoming videos I will be posting. Keep safe and till next time.